Right now, when, if ask, somebody were to ask you, mm. and you were to talk to him or her from the deepest, better part of your Kanungu heart and soul, yeah. do you sincerely have a situation in place where the space is open for anybody that is willing to run for any office, including the highest office in the land without running into a lot of obstacles because I have seen a lot of pressure brought upon Amama Mbabazi who was until recently a powerful Secretary General of the ruling NRIM, a Prime Minister of Uganda. In fact, sometimes referred to even before he became Prime Minister as a Super Minister. And yet, for Everything I have seen, it looks like, frankly, uh, yeah, there is a problem on the ground. Yeah, that, that's true. Because, uh, you know, since I made declaration about my aspiration to be a candidate for president, a lot of things have happened. Uh, up to 100 of my supporters have been arrested by the police. And the crime they have committed is to dare say we support Amam and Babazi, or to have possession of um, things like posters, like T-shirts with my picture. That is the crime they have committed. I did discuss this with the president, and the president told me he would instruct the police to stop it. It has not stopped. Uh, I left after that. It continues even today as we speak, but I hope we can sit down and sort out this. My appeal to our people in Uganda and to the whole of Africa is we should introduce a certain level of decency in politics. We should have clear rules which affect everyone, which we all observe, and there should be equal opportunity Nobody should take advantage of anything over others. That's the critical question. In my case, I do believe that um, I have support, of course, in the population. I am acting strictly in accordance with the law. I did write to our electoral commission, and I wrote to the police as well to inform them that I'll be making a tour of the country to promote my aspiration. Our laws require that to be a presidential candidate, to be nominated as a presidential candidate, you must have at least 100 registered voters sponsoring you from at least two thirds of all the constituencies of Uganda. So I'm acting in accordance with the law to go and tell people about my aspiration and get hopefully support now, you know, to stop me is obviously to act in a breach of the law, and clearly it's undemocratic.